get him through this state a little faster than seven miles an hour, officer. Uh, me off, Jack. <laughs> Holy crap. I gotta mute this because Officer Me Off Jack. Jack Me Off. I'm watching Black Sheep right now and it's a huge distraction. Alright, here's the deal. I've done a series of beer reviews today and uh, here's the thing, uh, you know. When I'm, I'm ready to do like a review, a beer review, I figured I got the camera out, I might as well do a bunch of ones. And I did. I did a bunch. And this is definitely the last one because I am certainly feeling it. And I'm going out with a huge bang because this is a very, very powerful, potent beer. This is Atwater Brewery's VJ Black Imperial Stout. This is coming in at 11%. 11% ABV. That is a huge beer, extremely strong beer. Uh, you know, keep in perspective, most beers are 5%. <clears throat> so this is more than double the strength of a beer. It's like having two and a half beers. <clears throat> so, uh, I like Imperial Stouts, dark, deep flavor. Price on this was $2.99. This came from uh, Connecticut. And so far, uh, the reason why I got this one is because I liked Atwater's Vanilla Java Stout, I believe it was. And it was phenomenal. It was really, really good, packed full of flavor. So I wanted to try something else from Atwater. And this is the only thing they had there at the time. <sighs> Alright, so. A lot of uh, chocolate. A little bit of coffee. Yeah, like a mocha coffee. It's really all I'm getting. Only like without the creaminess, if that makes sense. So just like a straight chocolate uh, scent and a coffee scent. Like black, dark chocolate with black coffee. All right, so, very dark beer. Not much of a head. Well, actually, you know what? I take that back. That's a pretty good head for 11%. All right, so super dark, somewhat of a medium tan colored head. <clears throat> Tons of uh, good scent. Imperial Stouts are very, very dark, usually very, very rich in flavor, very strong. So here we go. This is the Atwater's version of uh, an Imperial Stout. Flavor is really good. It's actually interesting. It's a uh, the the mouth feel is actually pretty watery. There's a lot of flavor there, but it's not like thick and rich. It's actually a, like a lighter mouth feel. For eleven percent alcohol, I would think it would be like a thicker, more of a syrupy, richer like um, like a mouth feel. Well, there's certainly a bitterness there. Not not too much though. It's it's very tolerable. There's a lot of flavor here though. Dark, deep chocolate, dark black coffee. Um It's weird. It's uh it's actually really sweet, but at the same time super bitter. It's actually a really weird combo. I don't think I've ever had a beer that was quite this sweet, but at the same time being this bitter. It's pretty darn bitter. Tons of flavor though. Like I said, the Atwater uh, Vanilla Java Porter, that's what it was. Vanilla, vanilla Java Porter was one of my favorite flavored porters uh, to date. And that's why I got this one because it's by the same brewery, Atwater. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what else to say besides uh, there's a little bit of malt, tons and tons of dark chocolate. Definitely dark chocolate, but you know, at the same time, 
It's a dark chocolate flavor, but it's still really, really sweet. So sweetness, dark chocolate, a little bit of malt, a little bit of vanilla in there as well, and uh, tons of bitterness. The one positive thing I could say is that it doesn't taste too alcoholic. 11% is way up there, way, way up there for, uh, for a beer. And uh, it's there, but it's not nearly as strong as some of the other some of the other beers that were at 11%. Put it this way, I think the alcohol is well hidden in this one. It's not completely hidden. It tastes alcoholic, but it's not it's not really really strong. Some of the other ones that were even like 9 or 10% was very very prevalent in in drinking it, and I think a lot of people would have a hard time actually drinking it because that flavor is so strong. But this one is uh, much smoother than all the other ones. So, um, fantastic flavor. Really good. Well, I highly, highly recommended the, uh, the uh, Outwater Vanilla Java Porter. And I have to say their Imperial Stout is, uh, is phenomenal. It's really, really good. The only surprising part of it is that it has a lighter mouthfeel than it was, what was expected. I thought it would have a thicker, heavier, richer mouthfeel, and it wasn't. It was somewhat watery, uh, really, really light mouthfeel. You could taste it's very alcoholic, but it doesn't taste like the full 11%. That's uh, quite a surprise. It says this is the single batch series. Um, this offers a lot of flavor. If you like chocolatey beers, but you want one with a super punch, a real kick behind it, this is certainly one to try. If you like coffee flavor beers, this is also there. I think it's equally coffee as well as chocolate. They're both kind of fighting each other for the flavor. But uh, very powerful, very flavorful. So highly recommended. Uh, I like Imperial Stouts, and this is definitely on my top five list. So really good stuff. And cheap, you know, for what you're getting. 11% ABV for three bucks a bottle. You know, where I got it in Connecticut. Can't beat that. It's really, really good price. So that's all. That's the Atwater Imperial Stout. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you soon. Take care.